Over the next five or ten minutes, I'm going to show you how to use TubeBuddy to drive a lot more traffic to your videos, and it's really easy. If you don't have TubeBuddy installed, quickly pause this, drop into the description below, click that link, and install it in Google Chrome. You do need to be running Google Chrome for it, and then come back and we'll run through this together. It's really fast, it's amazingly quick, so simple to do, and you're going to see really great results from it. Now to do this I'm going to experiment with a video of mine that I published recently. It's a good video and I've written a fairly enticing title but I was doing it a bit late at night and it's not pulling the search volume I really want. I'm not getting the hits off this video that I should be and the reason for that is not that it's a bad video but that people just aren't finding it in the first place. So we're going to take the title of my video and tweak it around a little bit, do some keyword phrase research using the TubeBuddy tools and we're going to come up with some really great keyword phrases that are going to really improve the search volume to this video. So here's my video called What's in my Ulanzi Mystery Box? Let's Open It. It's got a pretty good thumbnail there as you can see it stands out against the other ones. It's nice and bright and it's really easy to read and the title is quite enticing. But as you can see down here it's only scoring 85 out of 100 and I think I can do a bit better than that. It's, it's not perfect and I want to see if I can tweak that up get a few more points out of it and get some some more volume coming so let's start by dissecting the title i've got take away the things that aren't really needed and improving the things that people are actually going to be searching for the first thing i'm going to do is take away the let's open it that's a good call to action but it's not something people are going to search for so we will lose it that leaves me with what's in my yulanzi mystery box so let's do a search for that and see what the results are so now that's loaded up and you'll see I've been looking at this search explorer thing here. Now this is part of TubeBuddy. You can tell it's got that neat little logo here. And what it's done is it's taken the search term I've used and it's had a look to see how much search volume there is for this. And there's not a lot at all. So not many people are searching for that term, even though there is very little competition for it. Why is there very little competition for it? Well, nobody's searching for it, nobody's using it. It's not a great search term, even though it does give you 61 out of 100 score here. It's going to give you a good chance of getting um, search results, but they're not going to be very useful ones. If we have a look at the other videos that come up for the same search results, you can see that they've got 8,000 views, a few hundred views, a few thousand views, nothing spectacular in here. Most of them, you know, 50 views, 30 views, those aren't the videos you want to be competing with. You want to find videos that have a huge amount of search volume and be using the same sort of search terms they are. So let's have a little bit more of a look at the title that I've got here and take something else out. What I'm going to take out of here is the proper noun. I'm going to take out Ulanzi. When you're using a proper noun in a keyword phrase, you're going to really limit down what people are looking for. They're not going to be looking for a specific mystery box as much as they are going to be looking for the term mystery box in general. So I'm going to take Ulanzi out of there for now. I'm going to include it in my title later, by the way, but I'm going to take it out of my, key, my keyword search phrase. Um, so I'll take that out and do another search, I'll hit that, and we'll see what the search results come up as. Now this is a lot better, the Search Explorer from TubeBuddy has told me that this is now 84 out of 100. That's looking a lot better, I want to tweak that a wee bit more, so I'm going to have a look at the language I've got in my keyword phrase, and take it from a passive to a more active tone, and I'm going to go, what's in this mystery box? I'll search for that, and we'll have a look and see what results it comes up with. And there we go, it's 89 out of 100. So that's improved quite a lot already. There's one more thing I've just noticed in here that I should change. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an apostrophe in what's. And the reason for that, over the last few years, the spell checker in the title and search bars has improved a lot. And you'll notice that when you're typing stuff in, even if you're typing lazily, it repairs all that for you and corrects your grammar so i'm going to put the apostrophe in here and let's have a look and see what we're getting 
and the search for that comes back 100 out of 100. Now, as you can see, the search volume for that is excellent. It's absolutely massive. And this is because when you're doing a search, your search tools are now correcting the language and correcting the spelling in your search terms to make sure that you're getting the best results back. That means that more people are going to be searching for correctly spelt search terms, which is great. And the competition for that is moderate, good. So that means that we don't have a huge amount of competition on a massive, massively successful search race. Now, there's something else I want to look at again here, which we looked at just before, and that is the number of views and the num number of views on the other videos that are matching that search term. Let's have a look. So instead of a couple of thousand, the one at the top here is 1.1 million, then 92,000, 17 million, 2.1 million, 3.4 million. You can see where I'm going here. We want to be sharing in that pile of search term that people who are getting millions of views are getting, not the one where people are getting tens or hundreds or a few thousand returns at best. This is the people that we want to be playing with, not the little fry. Be one of the big fry. Okay, so that's great. We've got an absolutely spot on keyword phrase here. What's in this mystery box? Now what I'm going to do is come up with a second keyword phrase because this is a good keyword phrase but it's not one that's particularly appealing to humans. So I'm going to augment this a little bit and I'm going to take away the first part of this and I'm going to leave the words mystery box here and I'm going to add on I bought. Suddenly instead of just what's in this mystery box that happens to be on my desk, it's what's in this mystery box I bought. So I'm going to search for the second keyword phrase, mystery box I bought, and see what sort of score that comes back with. Great, there's a second keyword phrase scoring 100 out of 100. That's really, really good. It means I've got these two keyword phrases that I can combine into a title. I'm going to get the search volume from both of those coming back to me and that's going to increase the traffic again. So the lesson here is get as many high scoring keyword phrases as you can. So take your whole title apart, analyze different parts of it and change the wording in those different parts so you get the absolute best results you can from each part of it. Let's do this a third time because I really like where this is going. So we worked out that what's in this mystery box gave us a really good result. So let's add a couple of words to the beginning of it, which sort of talk to the user and brings them in. So how about let's see what's in this mystery box. Okay, we'll do a search for that and see what sort of results we get. Okay, that's giving us a 94. Once again, that's pretty spectacularly good. And I'm I'm actually getting quite lucky here, I have to admit. Sometimes you're going to get like 19s or 20s and that sort of range, or in the mid 40s, 50s, 60s, and you could struggle to get a much better result than that. But anything you can do to improve it is great. Actually, anything over 50 or 60 is really good. So I'm going to see if I can just change that a little bit more and turn that into 100. I'm going to remember this one though because that is a really good keyword score. So I'm going to use that as an alternative in my tags below in the description. Right, let's have a quick look at this now. And I'm going to change the word C and let's check what's in this mystery box. It's a slightly less usual word. There we go. Check what's in this mystery box. And that gives us another 100 out of 100. Once again, I'm going to have a look at the search volume down the side here. We've got um, 755 views one day ago. We've got 92,000 views from four days ago. Um, yeah, th these are good volumes. We've got a couple here in the millions, 8.7 million. Right, that's once again the people we want to be playing with. So now we've got a few search terms that I can combine into a title that's designed for humans. We've got three of these keyword search phrases that are designed for the machine and combining them together we've got a really good enticing keyword phrase that will get humans excited about it as well. And it's so easy to do this research using TubeBuddy as you can see. So what I'm going to go do now is change the title of my video to my new title that I know is going to get me more search volume. 
So I just click into YouTube Studio here and then I can go to content and edit my video. I'm going to paste my new title into here. I'm actually going to use the phrase I won, which I just checked and also gets a 100 out of 100 score. It's just a little more enticing, I thought. And I'm going to add also from Yulanzi because I do want to mention them in here. They're not part of one of those keyword phrases and it's not going to get me a huge search volume because Yulanzi isn't a massively searched word or noun in here, but I want to put them in the title because they are a participant in this and I did get the mystery box from them. They deserve the credit for this and it's not harming my keyword scores by putting them in the title. What I've also done down here is I've added all of these extra bits and pieces and keyword phrases into the search tags down here so that it gives me some of the alternatives as well even though they didn't score as high I want them in here because I still can get some search results from those this is, doesn't have a huge effect it's about one or two percent of the effectiveness of a video it's not a massive thing and YouTube doesn't use it a lot but I'll take anything I can get so I save this and I will come back and let you know in the description below in the questions and comments what sort of effect this has had so do come back so now what i'd like you to do is go and install TubeBuddy and have a crack at doing some keyword research yourself and do something to improve your title get two or three high scoring keywords in your title get some alternative keywords and stuff and put those into your tags and also click up here so you can see the unboxing video I did of the Yulanzi Mystery Box because that was pretty cool too and um, they're really good value these. Check it out. And while you're at it, click down here and subscribe so you see more of these videos and you can watch this video and this video here because YouTube picked them just for you because they know the kind of stuff you like and I'll see you in another one soon.